Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel Automation Control Solutions. I am Dr. Samo. In today's tutorial, we will learn about Boolean logic for PLC. In PLC, we construct ladder diagrams. In the ladder diagram, we control different situations by developing different logic. Sometimes, we require all input is high to run the system or machine. Or, some input is high, or, all input is low, etc. There are different Boolean logics that help us to develop our own logic, to control the system as per our own requirements. The types of Boolean logic are, an, or, not, XOR, NOR, and NAND. Let's start with N logic. The N gate will provide us with the output if all conditions are true. It will not give output if any condition is false. For example, there is a machine, with two safety points, otherwise machine will not be started. First, the machine door should be closed. Second, the oil level should be above the desired level. Both sensors are binary sensors, and provide the signal as 0 or 1. It means the end gate is suitable where output is obtained, only when all of its inputs are available. From the electronic circuit, we can see that, the circuit is not complete, if any one switch is off. For completion, both switches should be connected. Similarly from ladder diagram, both contacts should be connected or closed to switch on the machine. From the table it can be seen that, if both inputs are low, then output will be low. If input 1 is low and input 2 is high, then output will be low. If input 1 is high and input 2 is low, then output will be low. If both inputs are high, then the output will be high. Move further for OR logic. The OR logic provides output, if any one condition is true out of many. For example, there is a machine, that can be started if the red light is on or the door is closed. Here, the OR gate is suitable where output is obtained, only when all of its inputs are available. The electronic circuit clearly exhibits that only one condition is required to generate output. Red light or door, only one signal is required to complete the circuit. Similarly, from the ladder diagram, only one contact should be connected or closed to switch on the machine. From the table it can be seen that, if both inputs are low, then output will be low. If input 1 is low and input 2 is high, then the output will be high. If input 1 is high and input 2 is low, then the output will be high. If both inputs are high, then the output will be high. Move further for NOT logic. The NOT gate is such a digital logic, which consists of just one input and one output. This logic inverses the input therefore due to the inverting input signals, it is also known as an inverter. From the table it can be seen that, if the input is low, then the output will be high. If the input is high, then the output will be low. Move further for NOR logic. The NOR gate is actually a NOT OR gate which is a combination of OR and NOT logics. If an inverter is fixed on the output side of an OR gate, it becomes a NOR gate. Ladder diagram exhibits the NOR logic. From the table it can be seen that, if both inputs are low, then output will be high. If input 1 is low and input 2 is high, then the output will be low. If input 1 is high and input 2 is low, then the output will be low. If both inputs are high, then the output will be low. Move further for NAND logic. The NAND gate is actually a NOT AND gate which is a combination of N and NOT logics. If an inverter is fixed on the output side of an AND gate, it becomes a NAND gate. Ladder diagram exhibits the NAND logic. From the table it can be seen that, if both inputs are low, then the output will be high. 
If input 1 is low and input 2 is high, then the output will be high. If input 1 is high and input 2 is low, then the output will be high. If both inputs are high, then the output will be low. Move further for XOR logic. The exclusive OR gate is also sometimes known as any but not all gate, and it is represented by XOR in short. Ladder diagram exhibits the XOR logic. From the table it can be seen that if both inputs are low, then the output will be low. If input 1 is low and input 2 is high, then the output will be high. If input 1 is high and input 2 is low, then the output will be high. If both inputs are high, then the output will be low. Latch logic is a very important element of the ladder diagram. A latching logic locks its output once an input signal is applied and keeps that position even after the input signal is detached. The latches have low and high two stable states. The latching is a need for good ladder programming. We can say that, without latching, the control of the system is difficult. The locked position will stay for an indefinite time until the power is reset otherwise some exterior signal is given to turn it off. As we know that, the push button gives a signal upon pressing the button, and the signal goes off when we release the button. To memorize the action of the push button, we use a latch circuit. After latching, the same push button cannot be used to unlatch or clear memory. Another push button will be used to unlatch or clear memory. The industrial on and off switches are used for latching. The latch and OR logic look the same. But in OR logic, contact read input values. And in latch logic, contact reads output values and memorizes it for the infinite time period. Latch logic working principle. Following is latch logic. The start push button is used as normally open. The stop push button is used as normally closed or connected. The start button is used to start latching, and stop button is used to stop latching. Step 1. Press the start push button. When we press the start push button, then our output will get the signal. The latch will read the output and make itself on or we can it will memorize it. The signal will also change the route, and come through latch. Now latch started. Step 2. Release the start push button. When we release the start push button, nothing will happen. Because output gets the signal from latch. Remember. When we release the start push button, nothing will happen. Because output gets the signal from latch. Step 3. Press the stop push button. As stop push button is normally connected, and on pressing it will be disconnected. It will break the link between output and latch. The latch will be off, and the flow of signal will be discontinued. Step 3. Release the stop push button. As stop push button is normally connected, and on releasing it will be connected. The ladder diagram will come in its initial state. The following tasks will be performed on the trainer kit. Using blue and yellow push buttons as input and white and blue LED as output, the following will be implemented and studied. And logic. Or logic. Not logic. Nor logic. NAND logic. XOR logic. Latch logic. I hope you liked it, now subscribe it, and share it with your friends for more informative videos. After your subscription lets us move further. First of all, we have to create communication with PLC. For that run COM manager. Sometimes, it runs but is hidden in the system tray. Open the system tray and double click it. A COM manager window will appear. Also check port number from the device manager. Here we have COM10. 
Now clock on the Add button in the COM Manager window to create a new communication driver. A Driver Properties window will appear. Set the given parameters. To check the functionality of the driver, click on Auto Detect and press OK. If it is working fine, you will see the message that detecting is successful. Else you have to update the driver. Now press OK and again press OK. A COM Manager window will appear with new driver and name is Driver1. Now minimize it. Now run ISP Soft Software. Now run ISP Soft Software. From the file menu, select New. Assign the project name as first PLC or as you want. Select controller type as DVP. Select PLC type ES slash EC. You can change the path if you want. Press OK. I hope you enjoying the video. Right click on the program icon and select new. Assign PO name as first PLC or as you want, but don't use space. Select task, cyclic task. Check the active button. Select protection as none. Select language as ladder diagram LD. Press OK. It is ready for constructing the ladder diagram. I hope you liked it. Now subscribe it and share it with your friends for more informative videos. After your subscription lets us move further. Let's start to construct today's ladder diagram. For and logic. We will network network 1 for and logic. Input will be x3, yellow push button, and x4, blue push button. Output will be Y4, white LED. Take contact input in network 1. Assign name X3 as input. Remember X3 is a yellow push button. Take contact input in network 1 series. Remember, take contact and put in network 1 in series. Assign name X4 as input. Remember X4 is a blue push button. Take coil and put in network 1. Assign name Y4 as output. Remember Y4 is a 24 DC volts white LED. The end logic is completed. For OR logic. From edit menu add network, after. We will use network network 2 for end logic. Input will be X3, yellow push button, and X4, blue push button. Output will be Y5, blue LED. Take contact input in network 2. Assign name X3 as input. Remember X3 is a yellow push button. Take contact input in network 2 parallel. Remember, take contact input in network 1 parallelly. Assign name X4 as input. Remember X4 is a blue push button. Take coil and put in network 2. Assign name Y5 as output. Remember Y5 is a 24 DC volts blue LED. The OR logic is completed. For NOT logic. From the edit menu add network, after. We will use network network 3 for in logic. Input will be X2, limit switch. Output will be Y1. Relay 1 which operates 220, AC green LED. Take contact input in network 3. Assign name X2 as input. Remember X2 is a limit switch. Take not sign in place after X2. Take coil and put in network 3. Assign name Y1 as output. Remember Y1 is a 24 DC volts relay 1. The not logic is completed. First, we upload these logics to PLC Trainer and studied it. As you can see, there is a or logic between blue push button and yellow push button for blue LED. 
When pressing the blue or yellow button, blue LED is going to be switched on. The not logic is applied on the limit switch. If it is disconnected, the green LED is going to be switched on. If it is connected the green LED is going to be switched off. There is a or logic between blue push button and yellow push button for blue LED. When pressing the blue or yellow button, blue LED is going to be switched on. The not logic is applied on the limit switch. If it is disconnected, the green LED is going to be switched on. If it is connected the green LED is going to be switched off. As you can see, there is a in logic between blue push button and yellow push button for white LED. When pressing both buttons together, the white LED is going to be switched on. For latch logic, we will use network network 1 for latch logic. Input will be x3, yellow push button, as start button. Input will be x4, blue push button, as stop button. Output will be y1, relay 1 which operates 220, AC green LED. Take coil and put in network 1. Assign name y1 as output. Remember Y1 is a 24 DC volts relay 1. Take contact and put in network 1. Assign name X3 as input. Remember X3 is start button. Take contact and put in network 1 in series. Assign name X4 as input. Remember X4 is stop button. Double click on X4 contact and select normally close contact. Take contact and put in network 1 in parallel with X3. Assign name Y1 as latch. Remember Y1 is latch. The not logic is completed. Here you can see the yellow button is used to switch on the green LED. And the green LED remains on, because it is latched. The blue button is used to switch off the green LED. Or we can say that to break the latch. This is the best use of push buttons.